Hi everybody, my name is Nicole and I am a law student here at Washington University in St. Louis. Today I partnered with my school to give you a tour of what campus is like in light of the recent world pandemic and everything that's going on and you can't actually visit like you would in a normal year. If you're interested, you can also check out the other videos on my channel here at Life as a Law Student. I show you what it's really like to be in law school and all it takes to get here and what you can do after with that degree. So it's kind of cold out as you might notice. So we're gonna head inside and I'm gonna give you the most thorough and personal tour I possibly can through this camera. Let's go. So this is the first floor of the law school and the main thing that's on this floor is actually our clinic offices, which I would love to show you. Why don't you come on in this way? Our school has over 15 different clinics, including the prosecution clinic, which I'll be doing this spring. Stay tuned for more videos about that. We offer over 100,000 pro bono free hours to members of the community through our various clinics. And if you're a student here, you have a guaranteed opportunity to participate in at least one during your time in law school. It's a really great resume builder and also gives you some practical experience to test out which areas of the law you're interested in. We're not going to spend too much time in this room because I haven't been in a clinic yet. I don't have a ton to say, but it's definitely good to know it's here and to know that you have the opportunity to be a real practicing lawyer while you're a student in law school. We're on the second floor now because I wanted to show you what some of our larger classrooms look like. As you can see, this is a pretty big one. When you're in your first year of law school, you take several classes with about a third of your class in them. So that's about 90 students. And this is one of the classrooms that you might be in. We also have some other classrooms like this on the third and fourth floor, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. But this classroom serves multiple purposes, not just for classes. It's also where I go to a lot of student organization meetings. At Washington University, we have the ability for students to join all kinds of different interesting organizations that help the community and really get you involved in what could be a future practice area of law for you. For example, I'm in Criminal Law Society and Christian Legal Fellowship, as well as Young Advocates for the Incarcerated. But if you're interested in an area of law and for some reason we don't represent it yet, you can also start a student organization, host meetings in rooms like this, and serve the community. Next, I want to show you the Office of Student Life, which is also on this floor. In 2020 and probably some of 2021, the Office of Student Life is working remotely, but usually you'll be able to go into this room to get help with financial aid and class planning, as well as use some of our mental health resources. The school is very aware of the problems that law students face on a regular basis, let alone during a pandemic. So if you're ever worried or stressed out about classes, finances, or anything else, Office of Student Life is where you want to go. The second floor is also a place where lots of students gather to store their stuff and get their stuff in between classes. As you can see, this is where all of the lockers are. And when you come to law school, you'll also be assigned a locker where you can store anything you want and if you ever have any papers to pick up from classes or certifications or certificates or awards, those will all be found in your student mailboxes, which can be found on the second floor as well. On the second floor is also one of the entrances to our massive library, which spans literally every single floor of the law building. There are plenty of books here, literally more than you will ever need or read, as well as lots of places to study, including private rooms, desks, and cubbies. If you're on a journal while you're here, which is definitely recommended, especially if you want to get into big law or being a clerk for a judge, those offices are also on this floor. I'm not personally on a journal, but I definitely recommend that you would email our administrators and journal professionals at the law school for more information about that. You can find all of that information in the description below of this video. This is the Career Services Center, where you can meet with peer advisors and career professionals to help you figure out not only summer jobs, but also jobs far beyond graduation. When you come in here, you can get really professional and amazing advice about how to tailor your resume to make sense of the employers that you're targeting each year. We also notably have really cool big table discussions right here in this room where speakers from various areas of law come in to let you know how to pursue getting a job there. I spend a lot of time in this office, but 
probably not as much as I should. So when you're a law student here, make sure you take advantage of the amazing resources that this office in particular has to offer. We're gonna head over to another office now, which is the admissions office, one you guys will be much more familiar with. You're going to interact with some amazing people who work in this office right there. I wish that they were here to talk to you themselves because I can't express to you how much of an impression they made on me when I was a student. I'm sure though that you are all going to agree with me if you've ever had an email or phone call or anything like that with one of the people who works in this office. I really recommend getting to know them and staying in touch while you're a student here because then you have opportunities like this one where I get to make this video for all of you. So thank you admissions team, even though you're not here, you are so loved and appreciated. I hope you guys are getting a sense of the orientation of this floor. I know it's kind of confusing. I get lost all the time, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. Right over this way is actually the cafe. We're about to head into Crowder Courtyard right now, which is one of my favorite spaces in the law school. But the cafe is where you can go to get lunch if you don't decide to bring your own. This is also open to the other uh, attendees of the campus through the other schools and undergraduate school. So if you do want to buy your lunch, get here early. <laughs> As we're walking, you're going to notice that there's a lot of classrooms on this floor as well. I'm not going to be going into them just because they look really similar to the ones we saw downstairs. The Crowder Courtyard looks a lot different right now than it usually does. But for now, this is what we're working with, and yet it's still such a beautiful space. I come here to study, to talk with friends, to eat my food, to wait for classes to start, especially during orientation. We spent like half our time just hanging out in here. So I can't wait for you guys to be able to visit it yourselves and just enjoy the beauty of what used to be an open space in the middle of the law school. It's since been enclosed so that you can be here whenever you want, no matter the weather. Right now we're about to go outside to broader campus because the third floor actually gives you access to that. There's some really cool places on campus that I want to show you, so we're going to skip ahead to when we go out there. So we've popped outside in the broader campus to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to be a student here in general and not just a law student. One of those really cool aspects is membership for the rec center, which is right down this long pathway. And in case you're worrying about the orientation of campus, it's just to my left. The rec center offers free classes and membership to all students of Washington University. And there's several classes a day during a normal school year. I really enjoyed their fair fitness classes for like the two times I went. <laughs> and I would definitely recommend that you check out everything that they have to offer. Now we're gonna head down to the student center which is commonly referred to as the duck, and I just want to give you a sense of what that might be like if you ever want an alternative place to study. Danforth University Center. You can come here to get other food options for on-campus dining as well as use it as a study space. It's really beautiful. I'm not going to talk when you get in there and I'm going to put my mask on but I still want to give you a glimpse inside. So right behind me is the Danforth Campus Library which you still have access to as a law student here at WashU. I go here all the time for just my more as opposed to law school textbooks and I would definitely encourage you to check out all that they have to offer. Also if you're curious about the campus store or the theater both of which are also really cool places for you to visit and take advantage of as a law student here they're just down that way <laughs> but we're gonna walk over to the law school again so I can show you the upper almost back at the law school but before we go back inside I wanted to show you one last thing this is the Olin Business School and if you like coffee there's a Starbucks in there <laughs> they also have really good food if you just want something different than what our cafe is serving that day the business students probably wouldn't really appreciate me telling you that but it's an open secret of the law school so feel free to give the Olin Business School a visit You might recognize the south entrance of Anheuser-Busch, the law school building, from the intro in my videos. Before we 
Before we go up to the fourth floor, there's one more thing on the third floor that I've got to show you. This is the Brian Cave courtroom, where you will undoubtedly spend a lot of time in law school, especially if you're able to enroll in school when we're in person. This is where you'll be for a lot of orientation, as well as Lexis and Westlaw trainings. But much more excitingly, this is also the site of many of our notable speakers, including Supreme Court justices. So keep a lookout when you're a student here for incredible speaker events, as well as opportunities to join teams that might practice in rooms like this, like the arbitration team, moot court, and mock trial. I love this room. <laughs> This is one of those smaller classrooms that I was talking about, and you can find most of these on the fourth floor. I probably would be taking my criminal justice seminar in a class just like this one if I was going to be on campus this semester. You also might take some of your WANA classes in classrooms like these, since one of your classes will most likely be broken up into two smaller sections. So I took torts in a smaller class in a classroom just like this. Basically, all you need to remember is that your big classes are on the second and the third floor, your small ones are on the fourth floor. You've probably noticed that every floor has its own administrative office, and that office on the fourth floor is the Dean Suite. This is where you can meet with the different deans of the law school, especially Dean Nancy Stout, who meets with students on a weekly basis. I've really enjoyed my prior conversations with her and look forward to having many more. I hope that you take advantage of the same. Another thing I want to show you in this hallway is the beautiful view of Carter Courtyard. We're walking over to the library now and it's honestly one of my favorite places in the building. It'd be pretty crazy if it wasn't. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So we're in the library on its main entrance now on the fourth floor. You can see the circulation desk where you can meet with the law librarians to find exactly the resources you're looking for. Also, if you head down this hallway, you're going to be able to find printers, desks, and cubicles, just like we saw on the second floor. But my favorite room, and probably the climax of this video, is right this way. This is the Janet Lee reading room, and honestly, it kind of sold me on WashU a little bit. I mean, look at this place, it's beautiful. All of the different law schools I visited when I was touring, this was by far my favorite study space that I saw in any of those campuses. So once again, the fifth floor is also part of the library. and if I'm not mistaken, exclusively part of the library. I'm going to show you some of the more designated study spaces on this floor, as well as the faculty offices. But just in case anyone is working, we're gonna be quiet. So enjoy this quick and silent tour of the fifth floor. If your professor ever tells you to pick something up from their boxes, this is where you go. <laughs> this is where all of the teacher's assistants work, so if you ever want to review exams with them, you can always find them here. I know the fifth floor is kind of a maze, but they're very nice and they're worth finding. Got one more hallway of faculty offices coming up, but also keep in mind that there's plenty to be found around the rim of this room too. And as you might notice, we're back where we started, right over the Janet Lee reading room. Remember that this is where you should go to visit your professors for office hours and ask them any questions that you might have. It can be a really useful tool for studying for exams, which if you've ever watched my channel, you know is a really big and stressful deal. So I definitely recommend you visit the fifth floor anytime you have the chance to do so. We're about to wrap up this video, but I wanted to take you to one last special one room floor of the law school. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this wonderful tour of the law school as much as I did. I say wonderful because I'm the one who did it, so I get to decide. If you liked this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm still going to be enrolled in WashU one way or another for another year and a half. If you have more questions about WashU or want to get connected to our admissions office, make sure you check out the description box below for details and contacts on how to do that. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful couple of months until I see you on campus next semester. God bless.